What is up, everyone? JD here. I hope you're all doing well today. I thought we would do something a little fun, and let's go shopping. Let's get into it. All right, so we're just going to hit a couple of some of my favorite retailers, and we're just going to see what's new and see if there's anything out there that is eye-catching that we might want to potentially check out for the channel. So I'm starting at Blade HQ, and we're just going to go through each page and have a quick look and see what's there. Ah, they finally sold out of that uh, exclusive Delica I see. That was a pretty good price for an M4 Delica. It looks like they got some Protex in. Of course, the Malibu still selling out quickly. Got to be kind of quick on those. They don't really sit around too long. But I'm really digging these purples on the Godfather and the TR3. That's a really good EDC, by the way. I had one for a little while. I really liked it. But with the Mordax, it was kind of overlapping, and I had paid to get the Mordax reground. So I figured I'd go ahead and keep the Mordax and move that along. But that's a really interesting looking Godson. It looks like it has marbled carbon fiber as the inlay. Um, so that's a really cool model there. Let's keep going. They got some Hera from Microtech, Mini Trodon. Oh, they had some hinders in recently. Let's go, I'm only gonna go a couple pages in because I also want to check out the coming soon. Sometimes you can find some real interesting things there. Really like this Finch. It's actually bigger looking than what it is. It's almost a full size knife. It It's about four fingers. I really like the blue bone here too. And uh, I have a feeling if anything, it's going to end up on Knives Fast channel if it has not already at the time of this. I don't know. Oh, they got some J Jack Wolf swag in. Got a little hat and a hoodie there. If you like his logo and the brand and you collect them all, that might be fun to get. We got a lot of OTS and some Battle of Songs. Let's see what's on page three, and then we're gonna go check out coming soon. Some more Battle of Songs. We got the Lynch Northwest Titanium Clip. A new case. And we got the Tactile Turn Pin. I really like that color combination too. That's really cool. We got the new Quibbit. Civivi so still has not reached out to me to send stuff to me to the channel. So that's probably one that I hope will end up in a pass around that I can potentially check out. Let's see what else we got here. I got some stuff on my desk I need to move out of the way. Uh, we got the new Altus with the aluminum scales. I really like that bling, uh, bling, black and green combination. That's pretty cool. Uh, the blue is also nice looking. And then we got the cogent with the wood. We'll go one more page. It's actually starting to pick up a little bit here as far as interesting items. We got that. I really like that. Um, what is that? Excision? Excision? I'm not sure if I'm saying it right. I like that model. I just don't like the flamed anno backspacer with the Damascus. That's an expensive knife too. And the ma Magnetron. That's a really cool design. Probably not one I would keep in the collection. Ooh, I really like this one with the blues. Really like the Nebula as well. Those are some really nice color combinations. This one looks good too with the um, black and gray, I guess, is that marbled carbon fiber? They got the new CJRB cutlery cord. That's a cool knife, cool looking knife. I'm hoping that'll get in a pass around group that I can check out too. It's really hard for being a small channel to always pick this stuff up. I know they're calling this the um, Atelier, but you might as well call it the Baby Grand because <laughs> that's really what it looks like. It's so similar and I love it. It's a beautiful knife, beautiful, beautiful knife. I threw this up the other day in the uh, comments. Hopefully anybody that saw this that was interested, this is a pretty good grab. You're getting titanium frag with 154 CM for 140 bucks and it's the XL. So that's a nice size. Like I said, this is starting to pick up a little bit. We'll go a little deeper. And then we'll check out the coming soon. We got the Pyrite button lock in stock with titanium. 80 bucks is not a bad price for that. I might throw that up in the comments to notify some folks. Really interesting CEO styled Max Ace. We got the uh, Fighter Vanguard from Kaiser over there. That's a nice knife. And of course, we already know the Chavez's are in stock and they have a bunch of variants and they are all still in stock. Let's check out the coming scenes real quick and then we're going to jump over 
to GP and um, check out what they have as far as new arrivals. So for it's really weird that Livewire and these Benchmates have been in the coming soon forever, it feels like. I'm not sure why this is not updated. Maybe they stopped doing it after this. Yeah, I've seen all these. And if, if you've shopped these recently, you've seen all these as well. I really used to love that they kept these updated, the coming soon. But um, I really can't. Yeah, this is all stuff that's in stock. Oh, maybe the uh, Counter-Strikes aren't there yet. Mm, you got the uh, Temperance 3, K390. Hmm. That's a lot of money, though. Um, nothing really exciting here. So let's go ahead and move on. Let's go over to GP Knives, and then we'll, um, what the heck? We'll see what is new. Where is their new? always get mixed up. I feel like I get confused with the websites. Whoa, they have some Chris Reeves and Cinco's and Magna Cut in stock. Man, I've just, I've got too many big knives in the inventory right now and I don't know that it would replace my Umanzan to be honest with you. We got some tops, fixed blades. We got a Piranha button lock. 154 cm. Hmm. I don't know that I've I, I ever handled a piranha. If you've handled a piranha, sound off in the comments. I don't know if that'd be worth checking out. And I'm just going to really quickly take a peek at the specs. Oh, it's automatic. It's not a button lock. Whoops. We won't go into that because I think there's still too many states that are restricted. So we'll just go back and keep looking to see what else is new over at GP. Now, I want to say, I don't know, let me keep going because I want a couple pages in it. I don't know that it necessarily catches everything because I saw on their Instagram, I think, oh, there they are. <laughs> Never mind. They also have the new Civivis and Cubit. Um, interesting name for that knife. Yeah, this one here, this Exciton, Exciton, uh, whatever you're going to call it, blacked out with the carbon fiber back. That looks dope. 344 is not a bad price. It's a button lock. It's a one piece carbon fiber backspacer with titanium. And there's like some uh, design elements to it that I think do kind of justify. And their button locks are just money. Uh, we does a really good job. They've really dialed it in. I like that it has the mill titanium pocket clip. This backspacer is really cool. Um, got a little flaming going on at the pivot and it just looks really awesome from the top it's a really cool model i like that a lot and i'm okay with that price with inflation it's hard to get mad at folks for a little bit of an increase but that knife probably would have been like 330 before the economy took a dump we got these chavez man i just can't get past this neck fat it just doesn't look right without the choil but i know that they need to have it there for the kickstop to work but I love the size of that. I love that it's a bigger knife. It's fun to have different size knives. It's a little boring when you always have the same size knife. Uh, you know, when you live in a wheelhouse and you only have the same size all the time, you start to get limited on what you can have exposure and experience with. And that to me gets a little boring. So I like checking out small knives, especially if they're large hand friendly and medium knives and large knives and bruisers. I love when Dave sends those over. It's fun to check out. We got quite a lot. I'm breezing by here. I'm hoping that y'all are seeing it. We got some Curtis's, some Benchmade's. We got some more Chris Reeve knives. 425. I thought these went up. I thought they were 450 now. How are they offering these at 425? Is it because they have S45 in and everything switching over to Magna Cut? That's not. That's a really good price. That's like pre-price hike price, I think. Or were they 400? Maybe one of you in the comment can correct me or let me know if you know a little bit better. Oh, look, they have a uh, woo, $480 bronzed textured titanium. Isn't that titanium? No, bronzed aluminum. Okay. I was like, titanium for 480 wouldn't be that bad of a price, but I don't know about bronzed aluminum. Really good looking um, ATCF and that dark matter carbon fiber inlay. That is a sick looking knife. 
We got the old Warney Little Native. That's a great fifth pocket small knife carry. I cannot believe that people still have the Mini Evo in stock. Wow. And the Tonto? That's really hard to believe. My link's down in the description. If you were looking for this Tonto and you haven't picked it up yet, you don't have to worry. They haven't sold out. They still have some in stock. And again, I think that's price hike too because I believe the Mini Tempest... Um, I don't think it was that expensive, but gosh, I can't really remember. They have some beautiful Sabenzas in stock. My goodness. I wish I made more money than I do. <laughs> we'll go one more page, and then we're going to jump over to Blade Ops, and then we'll wrap it up at Blue, Blue, Blue Creek because they have an exclusive tonight that's dropping that I want to kind of cover real quick. I believe it'll sell out, but it's going to be your last opportunity to get one of these knives. Oh, look at that Flame Titanium vision r compared to some of the up prices that you saw some of the weeds that's not that bad at all we got the spiny dogfish yep i think that's as far as we're gonna go let's check out blade ops real quick and see if they have any new arrivals they too have some Encinco bladed chris reeve knives very cool you're gonna find at blade ops you're gonna get a lot of otfs battle songs automatics um, and then they throw some in between. They seem to be a big bulker dealer too. They have a lot of bulker, it seems like, when I check the site out. Um, and I don't know that there's too much new that has come in. They got the Counter Strike, which is one of my favorite OTFs. They just made that legal here in Virginia. So it's cool to see that they have those from a dealer. Uh, not seeing too much here. So I'm just going to wrap it up. I don't even know how long I've been recording, but these are the new Jack Wolf knives that are coming in. These are the Slims or something like that. I don't even know what it's called. They don't have it listed. Drop, dropping 512. Uh, let's see. Do they have... I don't know that they have... Where is... They don't have that up yet? They got a good selection of petrified fish and they're still building out their inventory but let's take a quick leak leak uh look and see if oh there it is okay so it's not up yet but these are the variants that are going to be dropping tonight they should be available at 7 p.m eastern standard time on may 5th and i will put a post out there on there for anyone that was looking to get this knife but it's a great deal 14c28n all titanium scales hardware everything with a steel inset liner great great deal definitely worth checking out well what did you think of today's video was it fun to kind of shop around and take a look at some stuff i'm hoping in one of these i might actually pick something up if you did leave a like for me i'd appreciate it shout out to everyone out there that likes regularly leaves comments and is subscribed i appreciate each and every one of you love you guys i hope you have a fantastic week and until next time peace